Sunset at 648. It'll be 63 degrees. You'll need a jacket for this evening. Winds will subside out of the south to about five miles per hour. Lows tomorrow morning. I don't think they're going to be as low as this morning. Few locations got into the 30s tomorrow morning. I think we'll all stay above 40 degrees. We'll call it about 45 to 48 degrees. So it still will be chilly in the morning. You'll need a jacket. Another nice rebound tomorrow afternoon. We'll have sunshine in the morning and then we'll have changes tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening we will still make it above 70 here in Kansas City. Here are those changes. You're going to notice it in the sky tomorrow. Sunshine to start on the chilly side. Then we'll make it to 72 degrees in the afternoon with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. There's a really small storm system that's going to be zipping through. On Monday, we're going to start to notice the effects of that storm system tomorrow in the form of increased cloud cover. The larger system, the larger cold front is going to come Tuesday night into Wednesday afternoon. It's probably going to have some rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, but the big impact chillier air. We'll make it into the 70s before this comes through Tuesday night and Wednesday afternoon. Big Canadian high pressure system coming down. You know, if this was December or January, that would be absolutely bone chilling. It's a big high pressure system. Here's how the numbers will shape up. These will be highs Wednesday afternoon. 40s in the blue for Kansas City, eastern Kansas, western Missouri. See that green color. So it'll be 50s and 60s for high temperatures on Wednesday. We'll drop down into the 30s and the 40s again for overnight lows into early Thursday morning. Here's the latest on Hurricane Matthew with first alert radar. It's a category one hurricane wind sustained at 75 miles per hour. And actually the strongest wind is right here. And, and the reason why is we have a surface high pressure over Kansas City. You've got this low pressure here, so you have a really tight pressure gradient on the west side of Matthew, and that's ramping up the wind on the west side of this hurricane. Myrtle Beach has wind gusts over 70 miles per hour. Winds in through this area from Cape Fear out to Moorhead City, gusting 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. The eye is just off of Cape Fear south of Wilmington, and that's steadily going to move off to the east. They have torrential rainfall, historic flooding, both from a rain standpoint and a river standpoint and coastal surge to boot. This is where Matthew is going to go by Sunday into early Monday. It's off the eastern seaboard and it might hook shot back around into the Bahamas. But you notice you know, the winds decreasing that storm decreasing in intensity as it possibly makes a run at the Bahamas later next week. So there's our cold front coming in Tuesday night into Wednesday rain, few thunderstorm chances and much chillier air.